piece of garden update. And yep, this is the pig's big plant. I have no idea what this thing is growing. But she has got some little bulbs down there, or fruits. I don't know what you call them. Um, yeah. She's got a ton of them in here. I guess we'll find out soon enough what exactly it is. But, yeah. It's a big one. These leaves, this is my hand. And this thing is huge. It's probably mid-thigh on me, but I'm only like 5'3", so... If that's not all that tall, but hey, mid thigh is mid thigh. Okay, so we're down here in the garden again. It is Wednesday. I showed you the pigs, big whatever it is. Um, onions still haven't been done. I'm hoping to get down here and get this done this week. Um, got a few cucumbers coming on again. Woohoo! My little cantaloupe there's coming in. I know, it's kind of late for cantaloupe, I think, but I don't know. Um, I have not watered this morning because it was actually raining. Um, I've not enough to do a whole lot, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, at least this way, you know, everything got a little bit of rain. I have not gotten the mint done. Um, the strawberries, after they were watered, they really came back. Now, I don't expect to get any more fruit. Oh, make a liar out of me. Look at that. And there's fruit coming back too. So after a week of neglect, it's bouncing back quite nicely. Miss Pig will love this. Unfortunately, we lost, I think we got to eat four pear, four peaches off the tree. The birds, the weather, the bugs were a horrible, horrible factor. Oh, looks like there might be another one up there. Let's see. No, oh, yep, oh, another one we're gonna eat. So I have another peach. Um. Yeah, we just been, a lot of them ended up on the ground, and we lost a lot to bugs, so we're hoping that um, next year will be better. We'll learn to spray for them or something. The apples, I'm going to get down here and harvest these and make my pie filling, because these are like Granny Smith apples, and this is about as big as they ever get. And if you look, some are starting to turn yellow, so they're getting a little overripe. We'll get those harvested probably today. Um, some are actually rotting on the tree, so I've got to get after that. And look at this. Look at all these blooms. This thing is still blooming like crazy. And I have not trimmed it back because everybody says, well, trim it back, but just don't trim off any of the really productive runners. If you can find me a runner without flowers on it, I'd be happy to trim it back. So, <laughs> everything has blooms and flowers on it, or has had in the past. So, um, especially like the watermelon, it has been going crazy. I've tried to keep them going that way. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, the cucumbers have been blooming again. If you look right in here, check that out. There's more flowers just everywhere. I've got to get down here and harvest. There's another dragon's egg cucumber down there. Ouch. Uh, sticker bush down there too. Um, there's some more there. The bees are loving this. So, um, yeah, there is something growing in here, I think. And it is a zucchini. So I'm going to have to get that cut off too. And it looks like there's two more. So we ended up with a zucchini in the middle of our vine city. The bell pepper was right in here, but I think it's been taken over by the, um, yeah, I, I can't even find them anymore, the little bell peppers. Oh wait, there's one! <laughs> yeah, he's struggling to hang in there, and I tried to push those down so that he'll have some room, but not exactly working very well. And this probably isn't the best video. But look at all the flowers on these vines. They're everywhere. Um, big clusters of them. Big thing. I think those are the gourds out there, the big yellow flowers. So, um, the pink flowers are weed. But 
if you look out there, you can see a little bee, I think, right there. Um, yeah. See, he's just working away. But, yeah, this thing has gone crazy. Now, I haven't found, um, I haven't been able to really dig in here and find anything except lots of flowers. So, I just keep bumming through. If anybody has a, a good way to figure out what's in here, let me know. Because so far, I haven't been able to get up into the center of that to see if there's anything. So, just saying. It is what it is, and I'm hoping I'm not losing too much. Um, these are the Lufa Gourds, and they are the ones with the big yellow flowers on them, so I'm okay with that. Uh, these out here haven't done anything. I, I am trying to keep it out of the tree. I know that's not a problem that most people have, but if I step back, you can see this is quite the mound of stuff. I don't know what I'm going to be able to harvest out of it. I really don't because I can't find anything. Um, so we will see. The gourds, like I said before in another video, I'm not really worried about it. Look at this. It almost spans the entire length from that T-post all the way down here. And right there is the edge of the, our land. So this thing better stop. It knows no bounds. Um, but I'm not worried too much about the gourds because I know those are fall things and like with the bird feeder gourds, um, the first frost is what will knock them off of the vine or turn the vine brown so that I can just pop them off. So, um, while I keep looking down in here and I don't really see anything, I'm not really, really worried because I... I think I've got the concept of the gourds okay. But now like this right here is honeydew melon. And yeah, I have no idea if I have any in there. So I just keep lifting up on the vines and see I've got vines on top of vines on top of vines. And just keep digging through and looking. And so far, not a no fruit, no anything. I, if there is another way that you know of to find stuff in, in Vine City, let me know because unfortunately next week I'll be gone. So Vine City is probably going to be even more out of control. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I can grow the vines. Don't know how much fruit's on there because I've not been able to find them. So I just keep kind of picking through here and looking and I just don't see anything but flowers at this point. And like I said, th this is not rhyme or reason. I'm just, this is how I do it. I see something, I think. Woohoo. Okay. So, I know, it's not rational, but see, it works. Oh, look, there's two somethings. Look at those. There's three somethings. Woohoo! All right, I have. I think they're honeydews. Now I gotta go investigate and see how to tell when they're ripe. They're definitely big enough. Um, and there's three in there. And as you can see, I'm at the edge of this, and it, it's kind of up to my legs here. And so I guess that's one way to find things. I just dig in here until I see something. Look, there's some more. Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, that's not. I don't know if that's a honeydew melon or not. I thought that was a watermelon. I thought that was a watermelon vine. Maybe it's not. Maybe these are all watermelons. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so I'm going to have to see what kind of vine it's connected to and what kind of vine is running over it because I have watermelon vines in here everywhere. Um, this leaf right here is watermelon. Okay, I am 100% positive of that. Um, that's all I know. And see, look here. This is watermelon vine that goes through here. And see, it's down in there. So, I'm going to have to find out what is down there. Anyway, so, apparently we have stuff living in here. Growing in here. <laughs> it's just always an adventure. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'll come down here and start checking stuff out. 
you know, see what vine is connected to. At least that way I'd know what color to harvest it at. And then somehow we have this stuff taking over my lemon balm, which I'm not real happy about. So it has to go out that way. And yes, I literally just keep putting it that way. Um, the tomato, it, it's pretty much me. It had some worms on it, which ate everything. And once again, I have more vines. This year, I can grow vines for anything, let me tell you. Um, I think I have these. See, I have some more um, squash coming in. and I haven't been down here in two days just trying to get ready for stuff. Look here, more zucchini coming on. And I'm okay with that. Um, right down there is a big massive mess. I've got some little, I guess they're acorns, but I don't know when to harvest them. But they're, they haven't grown any in a while. So I'm going to guess just leave them there. I don't know. If anybody knows how to tell when acorn squash is ripe, let me know. Um, yeah, so here's some more vine. And yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff. And there's actually like two kinds of vines through there, so I really don't know what I've got in there because I don't think this is the same as this. So this year, uh, yeah, that's not catnip anymore. I have vines going everywhere. This is the tomato cage. Yeah. Anyway, the last thing that's down here is the strawberries and they too bounce back. They bounce back a little bit better than the other ones. Um, I don't know if it's because of the wool the fact that they don't have any competition I don't know they're 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 back we did lose the bottom brown leaves but they're blooming and coming back and I need to be watered again today um, and I need to weed it but they're still there they're hanging on so um, yeah we didn't do too bad didn't do too great um, I will be gone next week so this vine city I'm gonna have to figure out what is what and if not well be here when I get back you know what I mean I do have a zucchini I gotta take out of there which is gonna make some awesome jelly um, we had a friend give us a amazing amazing uh, recipe for zucchini strawberry pineapple jam and it has been the talk of the town the hit everybody that I've asked to try it of course RJ and Lee say it's yucky okay but everyone else has tried it I had a girlfriend have family in and she needed something quick that they could pop on toast it was good so I gave her a jar of that and she didn't tell them any what it was she just put the toast out she put the um, jam out and all of a sudden they need more toast. She goes, I don't know who fell in love with that, but she said the jelly is like almost gone and all the toast is gone and they need to make more. So, um, she thinks it was her dad that, you know, just absolutely fell in love. And so, anyway, I'm just up in here. I, I could spend hours up in here looking for stuff. <gasps> There's a watermelon. A bacon. See it in there? Holy cow! Look at that thing! Oh, RJ's gonna be so pleased! Woohoo! Woo! So I'm thinking maybe those over there are watermelon too. Now I gotta figure a way to get to it. This is crazy. Look at that baby. Do you see? Oh, and it's ripe! Oh my gosh, he's gonna have to come out here and help me. I grew a watermelon. I'm I'm just tickled. If I get no others, out of, well, yeah, I really want to get some more out of here because, see, there's blooms everywhere. But, woohoo, I grew a watermelon. I'm going to have to get over here and, and actually start watching where I walk. And, uh, I can't believe I have that thing. Ah! Anyway, I did a watermelon. Okay, I, I'm just carrying on now. So, there's the garden update. And if you'll miss us next week, we'd appreciate you liking and subscribe. <laughs> no, not really. Well, yes, we would like a like and a subscribe, but you don't have to miss us. Um, we will be back in no time. Um, that is with the garden update. Now, we have other things scheduled to do uh, to post 
as we're gone. So, anyway, I have a watermelon. I have some either cantaloupe or watermelon. I don't know. Ah, I have fruit in the Vine City. I'm happy. Talk to you later. Bye.